going on guys and welcome to some more skills that you can learn during lockdown. I did a video on this and you guys absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for the love on that. So we are doing it again, you know the algorithm. One thing goes well, we do it again. Anyway, I'm going to be bringing you five simple, fun, exciting, different things that you can learn during this lockdown. I've, yes, I've managed to learn these five things on my own. Congratulations! So, we're not going to waste any time, let's get into it. Right, the first trick is the tablecloth trick. <clears throat> right, the first trick is the tablecloth trick. Yeah, I'll scrap that idea, I cannot do that. Right, let's try this again. Number one, we've got the whistle. <laughs> that wasn't great, I'm not already great at them. I know some of you probably can do this, if you can, just skip through to the next one. But for people who can't whistle, I know you want to whistle so badly, so I am going to teach you. So first of all, this is going to be the one-handed one. So, get your hand like this, like a... Then what you're going to want to do, get your tongue out, but bend it like back like that. Huh? And then you're going to want to push this against it, so... Ah, you kind of get me? So like, your tongue is like that, and then your hand is there, so it's like... And then you like blow, you know what I mean? That wasn't a great one, but you can progress, so you can go like further back, further forward. That was okay, that wasn't that great, was it? Like that, okay? And also you can do this the same with these, so you get these two fingers, whoa! These two fingers, uh, and fold it back, and uh, uh, you know what I mean? Let me try. Hmm. That wasn't great, I'm not really great at them. Anyway, on to the next one, bang. Whoa, hey! The next one is cutting an apple in half with your finger. Yes, your fingers. You don't need any core anymore, you don't need any knife, you can use your fingers. So, let's get on with this. Right, the apple. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get kind of a smallish apple. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to get this finger next to your thumb and your middle finger, so this one. And you're going to want to kind of align it in half, just like that. You see? Like that. Actually, I'm going to do my strong, mm, no, we'll do this one. So just like this, okay? The next, all you're going to have to do now is smash it. <laughs> Pretty much smash your finger. And there we go. Look up. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the first time I tried. I ignore the, these stuff. But I mean, yeah, it's that simple. That's how to cut a flipping apple with your finger. I <laughs> mean, it's so red though. <laughs> oh, sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Oh, right, the next one, as you just saw, is the hopping over your leg trick. Now, this is actually incredibly easy if you know how to do it and if you've got the balls to do it. It is scary. It does take a little bit of uh, gut, but I'm going to teach you how to do this. So, I jump over my weak leg. So, this is my, my right leg is my strong leg, which I have over here. And what you're going to want to focus on most is you want your strong leg to be the one you hold and it needs to be as far out as you can, all right? So like that, you know what I mean? You don't want it obviously like down here where you can easily just step, but you want it to be far out where you can have time to get that leg over, okay? So first of all, hold it, hold your foot just in the middle, comfortable grip in the middle, and hold it out and not too far down. Hold it a little bit down, obviously not like this, but obviously not like really far down. So just the middle section and just practice like keep jumping on it okay so just practice going like that okay and i know it's scary like i i could not do it with my other foot no way and it's kind of hard to teach it you just honestly all i can teach you unfortunately is just holding it in the middle holding it quite far out bend down a little bit so you can get that big jump to go. <laughs> Even I almost failed that. <laughs> big jump to go. Like that. Practice letting go of your leg first. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It kind of gives you a good taste. Anyway, that's unfortunately all I can teach you about that because it's all about kind of going for it. Sorry, I can't really teach you much about that, but let's go on to the next one. 
So for the next one, I'm going to be teaching you how to fold a t-shirt in under three seconds. If you know this, you can skip the video or you can't and subscribe to me and increase the watch time. I'm joking, I'm joking, you can skip if you want, but if you really want to learn this, then it is sick. So, what you're going to want to do firstly, is you are going to want to half your t-shirt, just like this, okay? And then with this, you are going to want to find the midpoint of this bit or this bit, whatever one you want to, whichever bit you choose, okay? So, I'm going to choose this side, the right side. So, let's find the midpoint of this, which is probably about here, yeah? And then you go up and grab the corner here. So basically it's like a quarter of the t-shirt. And then next up, we need to find the midpoint from, from top of here to bottom of here. Just like that, you see? Which is about here, okay? So you're going to want to grab that. So this is point A, this is point B, okay? So what you're going to want to do is this bit is now going to fold over this while still holding on to this to go over to the end. So let's bring this over to the end like this while still holding on over here and then you're going to want to uncross your arms bang just like this fold it and boom just like that it is folded nicely yes find the midpoint of the halfway which is here the midpoint of this to there is here and fold this over here while still holding on here unfold your arms and bang just like that that is how you fold a t-shirt in under three seconds. On to the next one. Right, so for the next one, we are going to be learning how to draw Homer Simpson. Now, this is just a fun drawing that stuck with me literally for life since I've learned this. I can't remember even how I learned this, but I want to showcase it to you guys. So, we're going to start off... Wait, I'll quickly draw it right here so you guys kind of know what I'm kind of drawing. Look, look at that. If that isn't insane... I don't know what is, <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to want to go up and then got the ear. So we're going to start with the ear bit here, okay? So we got the M for his little hair, and then we're going to go up and around like a head with his eyes, just like that. So just take a minute to copy that. It's not a great eye, to be honest, but it will do. Now you're going to want to come down a little bit, do a little nose, and then come around like a gum shield and do that okay so you're gonna want to come down like a nose around in that I guess like a bum you could say because that's you know his funny mouth and then you're gonna want to do his nice hair just like that and there we go we have got Homer Simpson that's, I, it's actually pretty cool because you can do it so quickly as well like you could just if you got like 10 seconds to draw something Bang, Homer Simpson, done, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like a fun thing. But anyway, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, give it a like and subscribe for many more videos to come. And I'll see you guys next time.